and welcome back to the Ducoscopy Studios here in Geneva. Joining me today is Christian Zeitler from Leg Mason Global Asset Management. So Christian, welcome to the studios. Thank you for having me. So today we're going to lightly touch on the Fed rate decision. Mm -hmm. So did you expect it? And also, how has it uh, affected Swiss investors? We expected the Fed to hold off. That was our house view at Leg Mason. Um, unlike 2004, where it was very clear that rates would be raised, this time the economist community has been quite split. Hold off, raise rates, there was data points in both directions. I think the Fed has made a very prudent decision, um, very responsive. Um, they mo monitored the data, but they also the outlook. They were concerned about inflation uh, not being at their target level. They were concerned about global growth. Um, so they decided to hold off and we think there is still a rate hike uh, possible this year. We think December, they have two um, news conferences uh, this year in October and in December and we are in the camp of, of December. Fantastic. And could it alter Swiss investors at all, this opinion? For now, as the Fed has hold off, nothing much changes for the Swiss investor. Uh, interest rates are still close to zero. If banks uh, want to park money at the S&B, um, they pay, uh, have to pay money for that privilege. Um, we think that will stay uh, for the moment. Um, our clients have invested in investment products that are quite flexible on the bond side and on the equity side, more than alternative products, long short products. For the typical saver, of course, that is uh, uh, interest rates at zero are not uh, optimal. Um, but what is not good for the saver is good for mortgage uh, holders and for the housing market. Um, you can still have a 10 years Swiss franc mortgage below 2%. That will still fuel the housing market in Switzerland quite a bit. Absolutely. And then we're looking at Switzerland's economy. So Switzerland's government officials have stated that Switzerland's economic growth may hit below potential. So how would you describe the Swiss economy at present? We see the Swiss economy as being still quite robust. Of course, the export sector has had hit has taken a big hit um, when the Franken shock in German or the, the shock came in uh, earlier this year. Um, but it has been quite robust. It hasn't been as negative as, as expected and, and we think this will continue this year. Fantastic. And then looking at the Swiss franc and the euro, so that's currently standing at around 0.91. Do you expect it to reach parity at any point and is there any pros and cons of this? There are lots of, lots of pros and cons. We don't expect it to hit parity. Um, the Swiss franc has weakened quite a bit um, since mid-July, I would say. Um, this was some relief to the SNB. Um, Mr. Jordan, um, what he couldn't uh, achieve with his negative interest rates has been achieved by the market now. That was a relief for the economy. We think it will stay roughly in that, in that area for the, for the rest of the year. And um, that will provide a relief to the tourism export sectors. That's our view. Fantastic. Well, Christian, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your expertise with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. For all the latest Ducoscopy updates and interviews, do keep clicking back. Goodbye for now.